I just took pictures along the way during my travels and of things that I found interesting and eventful during my life. All of the images and all of the ideas and all of the writings are things that came from my natural surroundings and the life around me. Just as a creative person who, you know, had an interest in observing life and, and trying to view life in a certain way. Look deeper, look deeper, not away. If you're too aggressive, you sort of scare the moment away. You have to entice the situation. You have to sort of invite it to come to you. And whether that's with people opening up, whether that's, you know, having children feel comfortable around you, or, or even with nature, I feel that you interact, your personality, your persona interacts with the environment around you. When you're more humble, when you're more passive, when you're more receptive, opportunities will open themselves to you. And even without having sophisticated equipment or sophisticated camera, when life conspires to make the lighting correct and for the opportunity and the gestures and the emotions to be there, all you have to do is show up and push a button and everything will come together. This original collection, more of it's true to life, and uh, that sort of reflects the beginnings when I was really trying to take accurate pictures, postcard perfect pictures, that I thought, you know, good photography was. But uh, the more serious I've gotten about it, the more I realize that, you know, my style and my calling is, is moving towards the abstract stuff. I guess I sort of aspire to be a painter, although I can't paint. So uh, that's reflected in sort of the uh, expressionism and uh, impressionistic style of some of those works. Now my newer work is getting more surreal. Ultimately, I'd like to see my work in galleries and collections and, and someday in museums. Mm -hmm.